All right, y'all, welcome back to 96 Guns YouTube channel, man. Uh, the last video I dropped was actually uh, the beginning of the process of this truck that I got, uh, Z71 2006. But uh, we back to the Impala videos, man. I told y'all I got to I gotta make up time for two years, man. That's when I actually started. Uh, actually, when I bought the Impala was August of 2019, and I let it sit. You know, it wasn't really rushing the process or either, and i'm really wasn't even focused on the process honestly man i should have been had this done but didn't know i was gonna make a channel out of it and you know a year later i made a channel and now i got to go back and remake these videos but uh, i'm actually gonna repaint this piece for y'all to show y'all exactly what i did but i pulled out basically everything i could get to on the inside without damaging it and uh like i said we got the medium gray and a gloss clear clear coat Pulled out a lot of the panels and other things like, uh, you know, door controls. Oh, uh, that's your speaker, you know, speaker piece right there. This goes on the fender, you know, that's the, the dash piece, which I had to find one of those and repaint it. Glove compartment and a bunch of other things over here. I already repainted. I pulled out, as you can see, the, the clothes hangers, reading lamps, seat belt covers. I guess I got a repaint this piece too, but that's really a spare. I have everything still in the car. But uh, basically this video gonna be a quick tutorial on how I took apart and repainted my insides, y'all. So let's get straight to it. All right, y'all, and this video gonna be mainly for the do-it-yourselfers, but all of the B-Body fam, especially, you know, 96 owners, this video goes, applies directly to you all, but anybody looking to repaint things, I mean, the Impala is pretty simple. It's either gonna be satin black or medium gray. But other B buyers or old school cars, if you want to get in touch with things up yourself, it's easy to do it. Uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff, I mean, it still looks new, but I repainted just for video purposes. But all of this stuff was painted two years ago, and it's been kind of sitting up in my shed or in my garage. And I mean, just want to drop knowledge on how I did it and then hopefully build somebody else's confidence up to do it. But pretty much all you need is, for one, you're going to need, always need patience, man. Don't rush through it. Make sure it's an off day. Make sure you don't have nothing else planned so you can take your time, focus, you know, let you some music play and just find your zone to get into it. But man, you're just gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, this piece here, I actually didn't use this, but I could have, but I, I bought it later for when I do have to do other things. But this is how you're gonna unsnap a lot of, a lot of the panels on the inside of the car. The most tedious thing is the lower dash, so be careful with that. Uh, but I actually got to find another lower dash. Uh, I had a white Caprice 95 with 35,000 original miles on it. And the guy that I sold it to, uh, I mean, months later, I ended up selling him the lower dash just to kind of help him complete his car. Since I did take it out, I didn't feel too bad about making the decision because my Impala didn't come with one. And with the confidence that I'll find another one, even though they seem to be extinct now, when I do find one, I can get it looking to par. So it just is what it is. You know, I, I wanted to help a brother out, as you can say, but, uh, and basically, you know, those are the colors you're going to use. Next video, like I say, the mold have came back in my uh, car because I have a fish tank in my garage and I guess the water and the, and the moisture in the air kind of, you know, bothers the leather, but to clean the leather, I've done it before. So I have to do it again, make a video process. What I used was rubbing alcohol. Uh, I mean, you could put a little bleach in it, I guess that's completely up to you, but I use rubbing alcohol and VLR uh, from this mother's company. I mean, it's only like $10. And uh, after that, I guess after I get the insides back cleaned up, I'll show you all how I went back in. And and I actually LED'd all my lights from headlights, inside lights, reading lights, uh, floor lights. Uh, I have to get behind my dash to where well, I'm going to code the digital. But even for the air controls, I was going to swap that light and the light for your gear shifters or your gear indicator. I'm going to have to get in and, and get to that light eventually. But I even took the time to change my tail lights, which caused the problem. You'll have to get the proper lights for that because it, it's something about the indicator and the turn signals that it'll throw off. But we'll go ahead and repaint this piece real quick just to show you all. If you do have parts missing or pieces missing on the inside of your old school and Impala particular, uh, like I say, this is going to be for you, man. Just find a part, find a good, decent part, man. You can actually repaint it. And you'll get a real good finish to it. All right, so like I said, I already kind of wiped this down so there's no dust on it. You always want to clean it off. I mean, before you paint anything, you always have to prep. That's going to be just the bottom line. I always prep, then paint, but got it cleaned off and uh, no dust on it. So 
What I did was, of course, you want to get you a little rattle can. Like I say, medium gray colors. And the first time I painted it, I didn't go over it with clear, y'all. Like the first initial time I did it. And then it looked good from the start, but eventually it kind of got that ashy look to it again. So had to make improvements on my end to figure out how to avoid that. But And I always use gloves. You don't want to get, you know, finger oils or whatever on it. But you're always going to paint with that sweeping motion. So we'll go ahead and paint across it. All right, so we got that piece painted up. And, uh, like I say, medium gray. And you have to take your time. I'm kind of trying to rush through the process for the video. But after you get a good gray coat on, like I say, it'll look a little ashy over time. And what I did was just go back over with a clip just to put that good finish on it. Like I said, once it's dry, it'll definitely look a lot better. But that's basically the process I did. Get you a clear finish. Get you a medium gray. Like I say, those will be your two colors for this project. And then when you go back in, man, it'll look fresh. Like I said, that clear kind of smooth on out itself.